Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator where we currently are kind of big compared to what we were a little bit ago. We have expanded a tremendous amount. There's absolutely no doubt about that and it's pretty much all from one war. So we need to chill at this point. Our aggressive expansion isn't like scarily high but it definitely needs to be chilled here. We need to bring our stability up which means our aggressive expansion needs to drop. Our war exhaustion will start coming down, and that absolutely needs to come down. We need to bring up our manpower amounts as well. We apparently lack a governor in Baetica, and we'll put in you. Fantastic. And currently, I can see that our income is being eaten up a lot by fort maintenance. Well, actually, I think this just hasn't updated from the peace deal yet. Now that I look at this, we're only paying 0.4 in fort maintenance. I was looking at our number of forts and thinking, well, that's probably why we're only making 0.15. But now that I look at this, I'm not sure that that's true. Let's let this tick forward until the month tick and see what happens financially. Okay, the Karelian clan, sure. A new prominent family. That's fine. They're now scorned. I wonder why. They just, they just existed. Okay, now we're being eaten up by fort maintenance. Cool. So I'm looking down over this way and I'm thinking, this fort makes a lot of sense to keep around. So I feel like that's reasonably fine. It's a level two fort at this moment, and I think that's okay. This fort is protecting this entire state. So I think that's good. Now I should note that these two states here, these states are a little bit exposed. This fort is a good one. This fort is a good one. This fort, I believe, to be unnecessary. I'm going to remove that fort. And, un and this fort here, as well as this fort here, I believe to be unnecessary. The state of Carpatania... Oh, wait. That's not our territory. Okay, never mind. We can't, go we can't go up here. But the state of Carpatania is protected by this fort. And for now, that'll do just fine. This fort is kind of awkwardly positioned, but I'll leave it there for the time being. Okay, so that's going to help our situation. It's not going to fix it. For now, we definitely want to turn down our fort maintenance in order to make ourselves some additional cash. So we're going to take forward here and see what we're doing financially with those changes. How's that going? We were at 0.84 before. Now we find ourselves at 2.28. So that's better. It's certainly not good. And we're going to have some integration issues, I think. So we should be looking at this. We're we're 74% Iberian up over here and 94% Druidic. Cultural assimilation does make some sense to do here. So we're going to do that. Down over this way, we are 15% accepted culture. So looking at these, the pop conversion speed is the faster one. We should definitely work to convert them to Druidic first. So that's looking good. Up over this way, that's 100% Druidic, so we should work on cultural assimilation. Down here, we've got 97% Druidic. We're going to work on cultural assimilation here as well. Down this way, that's already on religious conversion. That looks good. 100%, so we're going to go to cultural assimilation. And down here, we're going to go to cultural assimilation as well. Okay, so that's underway. 2.07 right now for our treasury. Now, one thing to ask is, how much do we need in terms of settlement buildings? And do we actually hold any cities? This is a city over here. Settlement, settlement. So we have the one city. That's this down here. It only has one building slot available right now. Now, we can make religious endowments down here, but that's fairly expensive. This produces olives. And as I said before, it does make sense to have a fortress here. But does it make sense to have two levels? I don't know. For the time being, I think our biggest focus needs to be on our missions. So settling Carpatania is going to be a very big deal. Controlling all of Carpatania as well. What is the alliance set up over here? These guys don't have an alliance? We're low on manpower. But I'm very tempted to do this. Our allies wouldn't join. Mostly due to their war exhaustion. And honestly, we should probably let our war exhaustion continue to tick down. 
I would love to take this over just to get all of Carpetania under our control. Okay. We can see that they have quite a number of cohorts here. 4K in total. Ours would be... 6K that we would raise. We can't raise this one until next year, January. So we may want to wait until then and just hope that they don't get an alliance between now and then. Yeah, our, our war exhaustion is high, and that is a problem. We definitely need to let that drop down. That said, our ruler zeal is helping that, so that's a good thing. Okay. We, we really should chill here, I think. Yeah. I, I think that we should chill here for a bit. Let our AE drop. Let our war exhaustion drop. Let our stability come up. Our tyranny is about to hit zero. Our civilization is, of course, going up. So that's looking fine. Do we have any law changes we can do at this time? Actually, yes. We could change our code of rule or religious integration. I don't think we want to change our religious integration. I think religious freedom is good for us here. We want that bonus to our monthly centralization. So, we can get the same thing here, actually. This will cost us some stability, but that's okay. We're going to start going up immediately when we do this. So, I think we do this right now. That will bump up our centralization. Yeah, going up by 0.2 per month. Beautiful. So, that's very solid. And as you can see, our stability is increasing at this time. So, I like it. That looks great. 3.53 for our treasury now, too. That's an improvement. I like it. That's looking great. So we're waiting until January of next year before we attack these guys. I just want to get Carpetania under our control for our mission here of controlling Carpetania. That'll be absolutely great. All we need is to fight these guys up here, right? So then we would need to integrate Carpetania, which we could do very, very easily. Settling Carpetania is going to be a bit bigger of a deal. Spreading population. Do we want tyranny here for centralization? We're going to get 100 cent centralization, not exactly soon, but relatively quickly. So it's five months per percent, and we need, like, we'll call it 80% 80, 80 here for easy math. So what's five times 80 in terms of how long that's going to take? Five times 80 is 400 months divided by 12. That's 33 years. I feel like we don't need the centralization that badly. Or we could spend political influence on it instead of tyranny. Let's do it. We'll, set, we'll spend political influence. Sounds good. Might regret that later. But for the time being, we do have a decent amount of political influence. That will, that, that will change. <laughs> that will certainly change. That's fine, though. We're coming up in our stability a little bit, but it's mostly our AE that's the problem, right? No doubt about that. I want to start working on our economy here. That's going to be quite important. Oh, okay. This is over here. I was like, hang on. I, I was looking at it here, and I'm like, is that fort in this location? No, there's a tribal settlement here. I was mildly confused by that for a moment, but all looks good. It is currently January of 469. January 23rd is when we can raise up our levy. Beautiful. So now we can raise up our levy and go in here. Our manpower is low. So the question needs to be asked, is this something that we actually want to do? I mean, yes, but is this a right now sort of thing? If we need mercs, we can get mercs. But I would hope that we wouldn't need mercs at this point. That would be the hope here. I don't know how real that is, though. So we're going to raise up all of these levy troops. They're going to group up over this way. Now, it's going to take time for these guys to make their way up. The real question now is... Okay, they're going to move over this way. That seems reasonably fine. So presumably they're going to pass through this area and come southward. Or they're going to go around over here and like try to attack here, maybe. 
Oh, hello. There they are. Cool. So we're letting our forces get caught up here. And then we're going to go attack them if they just sit, sit there. That would be absolutely great. We'd be very happy about that. These guys are lagging behind a bit. There are light infantry. That's to be expected. Remember, all of these are going to move at different speeds. So that's going to make things awkward for us. I really wish we could group these together or at least toggle that they should all move together. That would be nice if we could slow them down so that everybody moved at this 2.5 movement speed. Unfortunately, they don't. So how do we want to do this? If we do this, we're going to have these guys arriving like a full week apart, right? So that means that we would have to deselect any of these units with light infantry and stop them from moving for seven days. Like that. Now these guys are heading out. Okay. They don't want to get caught here. I don't blame them. And at this point, I'm going to send a unit of light, light infantry. I'm going to send these guys. It's a little bit awkward. But then I'm going to send these guys over here. So we're dividing our forces roughly in half. And we're going to start up a siege here. While these guys sit here. We can actually call in our ally into this war now. They would now accept this. And so we shall. Beautiful. So we'll see what they end up doing. These guys are going to head over this way and probably look to fight our ally. I'm completely okay with that. Can we move forward here? Yeah, we're not blocked by this fort. Okay, beautiful. So yeah, they're going up to fight our ally. I love it. That'll buy us time to get all this done. We've got some prosperity going on here. Sure, we'll take taxes. And we also got a, in a breakthrough on our innovations. Beautiful. So this was in our civic advances, I believe. It was in statecraft. We could put it anywhere, though. For now, I think we need to put it in... Let's see. In oratory advances here. Due process. Import value. And national citizen output. How many citizens do we actually have, though? If we were to look at our pops here, it doesn't say there. It must be in one of these, though. I know it's in here somewhere. So it would be, let's see, we've got administration here. One citizen, two citizens. We have four total citizens. Okay, that's not a lot of citizens. So right to be heard is probably not ideal here, but that would let us start going down some of this slave area eventually. That is an option. Certainly. We can also start going down the religious trees if we want to. I think we're going to take the national citizen output. That will help our tech a tiny, tiny amount. And then we can start going down some of the slave stuff for our economy. So that would be reasonably okay there. I want these guys to make their way around for now. And start up a siege over here. Beautiful. Cool. So with these sieges started up, our ally is going to run around over this way, and this is some awkward movements that they're doing here. I mean, they're winning that. They're not going to win this. Yeah, very awkward indeed. Now the question is... Ooh, 400 gold for base metals. Where Where is this? What do we make right now? That's here? We currently make stone. We'll do it. It puts us in debt. That's tough. But we'll see. Okay, so they're running around occupying over here. This is fine. We're just going to siege these down. We're not out of supplies right now. So once we have these two sieged, 
Honestly, that's probably the end of the war. But we can come up over here and fight them, potentially, if, if not. So that would be absolutely fine. No real problem there. So we've got about 3.5k grouped up. I really wish our ally had, you know, done something quasi-useful. They're going to walk over and potentially fight us here. I'm going to move two of our units up. We're not going to make progress here, but I want to prevent them from fighting us here. I was really hoping that that siege would end there. Sadly, it did not. Let's see if it ends here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll send out the tax collectors. And it did end. Beautiful. So now we want to move up this direction and catch these guys here. That's going to be a big, big battle for us. That was not a stack wipe, sadly. But we're just going to move in over this direction and chase these guys down a bit. Okay, from here... Do we just leave behind our light infantry and go after them? All they've got here is cavalry. We got a minor addendum. Sure. Six stability is actually not bad. We'll take that. Okay, and I want one of these levies to continue to move through, and the other will cap here. Beautiful. So now these guys can move down this way. Although, ultimately, we're going to want to move in our infantry, right? So we would move these guys down like so. Okay. So that is looking good. And then you would move in here as well. And then we could park these guys. Instead of being here, we would be able to park them about here. In fact, they could even go up here and attack if they wanted to. We've been successful at that. Ooh, a gift of gold. Yeah, fantastic. We'll happily take that. So I wouldn't mind bringing our cavalry up over this direction. They're 2.6k right now. We may want to come up here and just take this back. They're low morale at this moment. Our allies thinking about fighting them. I'm going to go in like this. They're locked in, so we actually stack wipe that unit there. They're no longer thinking about walking in here. I'm going to allow these guys to lock in. And then we're going to go up here and fight them. Okay, now they're no longer locked in. And we are. That's awkward. Or well, we're just going to loop around and fight them. Cool. We've got that deficit going on. Yep, it's painful. We're well aware of that. Okay, they have additional forces on the way in, but our ally is there as well. We win this battle, and now I'd like to go take back this area. Beautiful. How's that siege going? Well, we're just kind of chilling at 28%, but now it's 42. So that's looking good. There we go. This is now under our control, and we'll just make our way down and look to stack wipe them down here, I think. A friend in need, huh? Strong arm. Okay. That's not the best thing, but it's fine. We'll be out of debt quite soon. Cool. We can call down an omen, and I'm going to go for the economy slave output here. I know that we don't have that many slaves at this moment, but that's what we're going to go for. Excellent. So we'll get this capped, and then we'll go after these guys and look to stack wipe them again. There we go. That's a stack wipe. Beautiful. So they have nothing left at this point. There's nothing that they can do. Ticking more score is against us because we need to finish this siege. But the moment we do, it'll be fine. We're at 42% and we're making solid progress here. Cool. There's literally nothing they can do at this point. It's over. It's super duper over. And funnily enough, our war exhaustion is still dropping due to our ruler zeal. So I really like that. That's good. Our stability is not so good. That's for sure. And the fact that we're in deficit, I don't love that either. Eventually, we're going to win this siege. I hope. 
Eventually. <laughs> we'll see. Not this time. But one of these times. It would help, of course, if we had siege engineers, but that's not a thing that we can do at this time. Wow. We failed the 42% roll more times than I would have expected at this point. That's for sure. Well, we'll see how we go here. Okay. Another failure. Well, we're making our way out of debt. We're very, very close to being out of debt. So that's good. And all we need is this siege, right? There's nothing else needed. We're out of manpower. That's not surprising. That's e exactly what we expected to happen. But look at our centralization. 27%. That's up a lot. So that's looking absolutely magnificent there. And there we go. We finally win this siege. So now we can sue for peace, and we're going to take everything that they have. We could have just taken Carpetania, but we may as well take everything at this point. So there we go. We're going to lose a half point of AE. AE is a problem for us. We're going to put down our levy troops. There we go. And at this point, we can do Unite the Carpetani. It's a tier one formable, and we'll be unable to form any other country of the same tier. So Turtleliquia would change its name to Carpetania, and we would adopt the Federated Tribe government form. Any subject provinces required to form Carpetania will be annexed, and adds four tribesmen pops with state culture and religion. We will get Emergent Center of Civilization, giving us local civilization level in our capital, as well as population growth and fort defense, and we gain two free province in investments. This is just good. So we should do this. I think. Will this prevent us from doing any missions? Maybe we should grab Control Carpetania first to get the Conqueror's statue. And then the integration of Carpetania for the 10 political influence, like that. Then do the formable. Just to be sure. Cool. Our, our people yearn for a leader strong enough to unite the clans which consider themselves of Carpetani heritage. It is clear that we are the only viable leader skilled enough to do this. So now we need a free idea slot, and we have to redo this. Okay. So morale of armies, shipbuilding cost, reinforcement speed, army morale recovery. This is the same choices as before. So we're going to go for the morale of armies. Here in the civic ideas, we've got build cost and build time. National Commerce Income or National Slave Output. We're going to take the Slave Output. And here in the Oratory Ideas, we've got Monthly Corruption Reduction, Loyalty, and Improve Opinion Maximum. For exactly the same reasons as before, we're going to make the same choices as before. That'll be fine. We do need a Governor up over here. There's a Scorned Family right now. Here's a scorned family member. There we go. So we'll put you in as a governor. And up over here, of course, we're going to want... They're fully druidic and 83% Celtiberian. We'll go for cultural... I, I mean, Celtiberian, not Cultiberian. I mean, we're not making an Iberian cult, are we? Hmm, maybe we are making an Iberian cult. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's hard to say. But we are now Carpetania, and that is magnificent. We're still in debt here. We're going to be out of debt not next month, but the month after, assuming no deficit events between now and then. And this fort is unnecessary. We're going to ditch that fort. This fort, I think we should keep for the moment. Ditching that fort may give us what we need. Yeah, 4.55. And how are we doing? Did that turn up our fort maintenance? It did. Beautiful. Where did we get 36 gold from? I don't know where we got this from, but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> cool. So we're making five gold per month right now. We have Carpetania United. And at this point, we need to work on settling Carpetania. I absolutely want to let our AE drop and our stability rise. That is going to be very, very important here. So we're going to want to settle Carpetania here and work on this over here internally. That is all things that are going to take some time. So we're going to be at peace for a bit here, I think. 
You, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to work on those developments. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kentogan, Andy McGar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.